Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Don and you are watching Don's DIYs where it's always better when you do it yourself. The other day we started with an opening of a box kind of like the one behind me. You can't see it just like that one. Uh, what is in the box is an electric XP electric folding bike or folding electric bike. Let's put it that way. Um, the video I done on, on my wife's come in first, it was a white one. Uh, it didn't come out as well as I, I would hope. So that's the reason why we're in a totally different setting, different clothes. Uh, and we're gonna open up mine. Mine came in today and we're gonna get it opened. It doesn't take very long to open it up and uh, get it folded out and get it set up and get it ready for a ride. Uh, we are going to, we gotta air up the tires cause they come with, you know, low amount of air in them cause of, uh, uh, flights and stuff like that cause of air pressure changes and everything. So they pretty much uh, ship them flat. They got a little bit of air in them, but not a lot. Um, so we're going to tear into this thing. I, I don't want to do any time lapse or anything like that. I want you guys to really see how long it takes. If you want, would like to have one of these bikes, how long it would actually take to get it, open it, set it up and be ready to go other than putting air in the tires. Uh, the battery on my wife's came, uh, it was fully charged, uh, ready to ride out of the box, except putting air in, the tire, air in the tires. So that's where we're gonna go from there. So let's get started tearing this thing apart. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are in a good spot to watch me. So I'm gonna try to be quiet and let you uh, watch me tear open this box, get it out of the box, get it unfolded and get it ready to ride. All right, let's get started. Things you're gonna need. You, one, you're gonna need a, a knife or a razor knife. Uh, something to cut zip ties with. There are a bunch of zip ties on this thing. Staples, be careful, staples. It's covering the top of the seat. Ah, excuse me, it's hot today. That's why I'm doing it in the shade. I'm gonna look down the side here and say, got plenty of room to cut the end of this box open. So, uh, this side is stapled. Wow, this one did too. Um, when I ordered from electric with my wife's, or actually both of them, I didn't order them with these saddlebags, but electric, I don't know if they started shipping permanently with the saddlebags in them automatically or what, but I did contact them on my wife's and they thanked me for contacting them and everything and said it was my lucky day and I got to keep the saddlebags. So I guess I will contact them again and let them know that uh, it happened again. I ended up with another pair of saddlebags, but I I'm good with those. I'm gonna set them down over here out of the way. Okay. Uh, what I done last time, I just threw everything back in the box and I take it to work and 
we have a big recycle bin at work. Okay, other than the bike, in this box, we have your manual and your charger. Okay. That's in this box. All right, out of the box, this thing weighs, I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way so it doesn't get knocked over. Out of the box, it's like 59, well, you might as well say it weighs 60 pounds out of the box. Um, which if you think about it, that's, that's a pretty good amount of weight, but when, once you look at the compact size ooh, of the bike, I mean, that's tiny. You could take and put this in the back of a car and take it someplace and pull it out and ride it. So, um, first off, what I like to do so I don't throw them away with my wives, I did is this is a key driven bike. You have to have a key. Okay. These keys are for your bike. There's two of them. What we're going to do is, uh, my set will have one for my wife and one for me. And she will have a set that's one for hers and one for mine. So that if we're out somewhere and one of us loses our keys, we can still uh, drive the bike. It's packed very well. It's very secured. Tell you a little backstory on this bike. It, I was told yesterday, or I've been following it, of course, the shipping on it. It's a little funny story to my house, of course, because I mean, you, you make an investment like this, you want to really keep an eye on it. Well, I'm watching the, the shipping and everything on the bike and because it, it took us, we did this in like, I want to say April is when I ordered them, early part of April. And this is what, June 22nd? Yeah. So it took a while to get them. Uh, electric was very, uh, Very helpful in, in times I've had questions. Uh, so I, you know, if you're looking at getting something like this, electric bike. For me, uh, I have bad knees. I have a bad back. Uh, and with this thing, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to start working, some, you know, working my knees and and uh, maybe being able to, you know, ride it, ride the bike for a lot longer because I want to be able to, me and Marie to get out and ride it. So, uh, pull it apart here a little bit, get this out, off the front fender. I know I said I wasn't gonna talk, but I'm gonna talk. It's just how it is. All 
All right, I'm gonna pull these. The handlebars don't come, see the handlebars are out. Uh, but when you fold it up, you don't have to tear it apart. That's just, you know, they've got it that way for shipping. Ooh, I'm liking. Again, being very careful with this knife, I don't want to scratch the bike or anything. I have to wait until I fall off of it or something. Uh, so, let's work on these handlebars. They were shipping with a bell, just a little cheap bell on them. And I guess they've stopped shipping them with that bell. Uh, not a big deal. I'll get a cheap, little cheap one and put it on there. You know, just something so if you're coming up beside somebody walking, you can, you know, at least let them know you're there so you don't scare them when you go past them. See, we're almost done completely unwrapping this thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, so far that looks like all the wrapping. I don't see any more zip ties. So, um, I'm gonna bring you in and show you how this mechanism works. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is where your handlebars lock up. They fold down and then they come up. You, you see the knob on it here that uh, the handle locks to. Goes in, comes down, locks into place. There is a, no, there's not a lever. I thought there was a lever. There's not a lever. Uh, it just, it goes past parallel. So when you're locking it down, you need to make sure that you're going past it and it keeps it pretty much locked in. If you're feeling kind of weird about it. No, there is a, oh, you can slide that ring in. There it is. I'm so sorry. This plastic ring right here slides around and locks it, won't let it come undone. I, I need to do that to my wives so uh, the handlebars don't come undone. So. Let me back you up and show you how it unfolds. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this in. Hopefully, oh, I guess I should unlock it first. Okay, slide in, we're just gonna lock that down. It, right now it doesn't matter where, the height wise. Uh, I'm gonna reroute those cables behind that, front of that light. Lock it in, lock it in place. Okay, now, the next step, I'm gonna bring you guys over here and show you how, when it folds up, how the lever locks. Okay, so now we've got this, the big latch here from where the center folds together. We're gonna pick it up. Uh, 
that easy it's folded together this locks in and then it has a little lock let me put a kickstand down move the pliers okay Okay, now I can show you this latch. It uh, has the same detent, detent that the uh, front steering wheel has, or for, uh, the front handlebars, I'm sorry, steering wheel handlebars. Goes into it and it puts it into a bind, tightens it down, you can see the clamp move. Boom, it hits here and this is locked in, see it? Now this handle won't come undone. So to fold it and pack it away, you would open that up I think you first fold the handlebars, then open this up, fold it together, and then here's your grab handle. Also, two, <clears throat> sorry, also, uh, the pedals fold back for easy, uh, uh, I guess it would be storage of the bike. You can see they just come in like this. So you just fold them back, they lock into place. Uh, both sides do that. So now we're going to get it off the table and get it back down on the ground. There you go. That is the electric XP folding bike. All right, let's see. Let's get this right. Electric XP folding electric bike so I'm going to try to fold this thing up so you guys can see it all folded up you know what it would be like to fold it up so we're going to twist the lock out of the way unlock the handlebars fold the handlebars down boom see how that nice and neat fold the pedal up Fold the pedal up. Okay, we're gonna put the kickstand up. Unlock it. Okay, uh, pedals need to be in a certain position. I just saw that, it hit the tire. So, Boom, there you go, your electric bike's folded up. You can take it anywhere you want. Uh, drop the seat. That is a compact bike. Okay, now we're gonna unfold it. So, uh, I'm thinking that I'm gonna lock this seat down. I'm gonna pick this up. Okay. We just went from the storage position to the riding position. Um, the seat doesn't have any marks, so yeah, probably gonna be a pain at first to find it, but it is aluminum. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to take something and make just a little mark on it so you know where your uh, height is. But we just went from folded up to ready to ride, just a few seconds. Okay, uh, excuse my shaking this, but it's gonna be handheld. Just some of the features. It does have a front headlight and rear light. Uh, this integrated into the back bike that runs off of the battery. Front and rear. Okay. All right, uh, let's go back to doing the key now. All right, the key hole 
is underneath here. It seems like a weird spot for it to be, but uh, if you think about it, no one, unless they own, a, own it or watch a video, is going to find out about where the keyhole is. It goes in, and it's on. Just that easy. Okay, you have your menu button right here. You push it and hold it. And you see the screen lights up. Kind of a little bit of a glare on it. So we can get the glare off of it. Right about there. Battery is fully charged. It's uh, got zero miles on it. And we're not going anywhere right now. So, all right. Um, you see the PS, PAS, it says zero. This is your pedal assist mode. You go up. PSA one, two, three, four, and five. At five, your motor is helping you the most it can help you. At one is at the least your motor will help you. And at zero, you're pedaling this thing all by yourself. saying a range of anywhere from 25 to 50 miles I'm, I'm pretty sure 50 miles will be like on PSA 1 and 25 miles is going to be nothing but throttle there is a throttle I'm going to turn this off so the bike don't take off on me but let me move this camera over on on your right hand grip uh, the grips are not too bad. I already got us some gloves. Um, I went after I rode Maria's. It was a little tough on my hands. But you can see the line right here. This is your throttle. And that right there is full throttle. So it only goes, let's see, quarter of a turn, full throttle. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of the unpacking of the electric electric XP bike. Um, there'll be more videos on it. I've got I'm doing some uh, upgrades. I'm putting a, a mirror. Uh, I'm putting an attachment on here that's going to have a place for our cell phones and for um, a GoPro camera, so we can get some pretty cool shots while we're riding and stuff like that. Uh, but that is it for me today, guys. I think uh, I'm going to go inside uh, and do the rest of my um, stuff. I may go, go get it and bring it out here, but that's going to be a totally different video. But I'll, I'll be uploading this video tonight, which is Monday night, and getting it on. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, be safe in your shops. Be safe when you're driving out there on the road. And when you're on the trail, stay on the trail. Hey and give bikes some room. Peace out.